Well, hey guys, it's about that time again. We haven't done these in a while, and uh, our good friend Chili decided he wants to be a part of this interview. I don't know why he keeps on coming. He usually puts his foot in his mouth, but today he's wanting to talk about something that happened to you. I believe it was this past weekend. So, Chili, um, so you went to a um, a protest and um, you threatened a cop. Not only was it a cop, it was a black cop. Now, I do know how you like to say you're a 20-year MMA fighter, how you can beat anybody up, how you have great athleticism, and you can beat up Chad Goo. Uh, what, what, why is it you say this when the fact when people take you up on it, you just kind of run away? Well, here's the thing. I have bad blood pressure. And I'm an outfit, okay? People are afraid of me. It, it would end really, really quick. It just would end really quick. I'm the fastest. I'm the most brutal. I can kick anybody's ass, especially cops. And you know what? I can even fight you because look at you, fat, fat boy. Um, I'll just roll you up in butter and have sex with you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You, you hear me? Well, I do hear you. You, you have told me that before. You have uh, looked me in the face and told me you was going to have sex with me or whatever you wanted to do to me. Something to do with my butt. So you, you like to threaten cops, but f for some reason you like to threaten black cops. I, I'm starting to feel that you might be, there might be some kind of trend going on. Now I know you like to run from the fights. You don't really, you can't, you don't really want to fight because you're afraid to get your ass kicked. Well, here's the thing. Nobody's going to kick my ass. I'm just going to say it now. I'm a 20-year law scholar and an MMA fighter. I can fight anybody. I am the greatest game changer of all time. And here's the thing. I like to threaten cops all the time, especially black ones. You want to know why? Because I'm a fucking racist. That's what I like to do. I hate black cops. And I hate black people. I just don't like them. I don't. You know? I, I'm a white supremacist true the heart. That's what I like to do. I love, I love it. I hear, I love it when I get to threaten black people. It makes me feel like I'm powerful. Because white power, you know? White power. That's, uh, that's racist. That is very racist. What, why would you do that? I thought you was the king of um, black people. I thought, you, I thought you was some kind of uh, pariah of some sort when it comes to the African American community. What, what, why is it you're being so racist? Like, what do you have against black people? Well, here's the thing. Since I'm white supremacist, since I don't like black people, I think since I'm the alpha dog, they should listen to me because I know what's best for them. I want black people to think what I think, you know? And me threatening a black tyrant cop, you know, black people shouldn't be cops. You know why? Because I said so. I, sa I said so. You know, black people don't deserve to have jobs. That's that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I, I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. And you know what? Here's the other thing. I, I want a black cop to have sex with me. That's what I really want. I want the cop to put his torture cups on me. And I want him to show him, show me his nightstick. Because here's the thing. I love being taken advantage of, especially in a ring. I just love it. I just love it. Yeah, yeah, I heard that in your leaked audio. Um, so I heard, the, uh, is it okay if I play the audio from um, one of your recent events? Yeah, that's that's perfectly fat. Perfectly fat. Oh, yeah, cop. Come on, copper. I know you, you black cop. Wait, wait a minute. I don't want the black cop. I want the white cop to come over here, put the torture cups on me, and fudge me. Give me some fudge right now. Fudge me now. Fudge me now. Give me some of that fudge. That's what I want. That's what I want. Not the black cops because I'm racist. I'm a big old racist. I don't like black people cops. You know? You know? I can roll around with the best of you. Come on. Let's have some sex, cops. Come on. Let's do it. Let's have some sex. This is what I want. That's what I really want. You know, I can't fight you because I'm a giant pussy. But you know what? If you guys put your arms around me and put some torture cups on me and bind me and make, have your way with me, that's what I really want. That's is exactly what I want, except for black cops. I don't like black cops. Black cops need to go away because white power, you know? That's that's what it is. That's what it, I, I'm afraid to say it. Why don't you buy my fucking trifold and my $5 piece of shit card that I got, you know? It's, it, you know? Why don't you do that? Listen to me. I know better. I know more for black people than anybody. 
But anyway, Scott, come on, gangbang me. Do some other things to me. Hey, up. Fudge me now. Fudge me now. Fudge me now. That was nasty. Why would you say these things, dude? That is disgusting. That is disgusting. So you got kicked off TikTok for being racist. You have a lot of moments in your videos when you're racist against, I don't know, cops and city council members. I remember uh, there was a cop here in Ironton. Well, not a cop, it was a counselor here in Ironton. And you tried to make it seem like you knew better for the black councilman because you're white. Why, why are you so against black people? I, I, she's just saying, I'm just above them. I just am. I'm just going to say it right now. I'm, gonna, I'm above them. I'm above them. I, I don't like black cops and I don't like black people. I'm purposely racist all the time. People just don't really call it out. And to my 300 some thousand subscribers that are definitely not fake, they're all real. Trust me, bro. Um, you know, I, if, if you're black, please leave. Please leave. I know better, though. You, you keep subscribing and give me some money. But you know what? I know, I know better for you black people. That's what I do. And for cops, if they're black, you know, I don't want anything to do with them. So I'm going to threaten all the black cops I see. Every single last one of them. I don't like them. I don't like them. You go, there's, not, there's nothing worse than having a black person have power over me. It shouldn't be that way. I'm a white man. I'm, I am white, and I should have power over the black people. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Well, this has definitely been eye-opening. Uh, now I understand why you don't like black people. Um, that's awful. You know, it's 2023, and you're racist? Why? Why are you racist? I've always been racist, bro. It's a cool thing to do. That's what all alpha males are. Pretty much all of us auditors are frauditors, I mean. Uh, you know, we're all racist. All of us. Every single last one. We don't like black people, and we especially don't like women. You know, because we're gay. I mean, not gay. We, because, we, you know, you know what I mean? You know, you know exactly what I mean? You know? You know? Well, there's nothing wrong with being gay at all. Like, at all. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm glad you came out, though. You've came out before, so, I mean, this isn't anything new. Like, stop trying to not be gay. Like, just stay, stay, stay. Okay, anyways. Chili, I, I don't have enough time for this, man. I, I really don't. Um, I don't like racist people. I hate to say it. I don't like racist people. Um, and you definitely are pretty damn racist, and it just kills me. I don't know why you like to threaten cops and threaten to fight them when the fact is you ran away from a fight, a sanctioned fight, um, by saying you had bad blood pressure and a bad knee. Um, and it was also going to be benefiting kids with cancer, which I know you don't like. You, you want kids to have cancer, bone cancer especially. You do love that. That's your favorite thing is for kids to suffer from bone cancer. I know you like that. That's your favorite thing. Uh, we actually have a clip of that. So, I mean, it's, it's nothing that can't be proven. Uh, and you people who have funded her is disgusting to me. I hope you burn in hell. I hope you, you burn in hell, and I hope your kids get bone cancer. Um, and we know you won't fight anybody. As soon as somebody just walks up to you and says, hey, I want to fight, you put the camera in their face because you won't fight without the camera on. No, you can talk real big and everything like that and pretend that you can, but you're afraid to turn the camera off because you know you're going to get your ass stomped in. And if you don't believe that, Chili, I mean, you big pussy, why don't you come to Ironton? Come back to Ashland. You won't. You won't. You won't because you're a pussy. You're a fucking bitch. And, uh, you know, maybe you should stop selling pieces of paper that are completely fucking worthless, you know? Anyways, guys, uh, I'm glad you stopped by here. I'm tired of Chili right now. Um, a lot of this stuff, this was all parody. This was an opinion piece. Can't prove these things. But I really love my First Amendment rights. And, you know, for somebody, if they try to take this video down, like Chili, uh, you know, he's trying to say he's a First Amendment fighter, but if he tries to take this down, he's definitely not. So, I mean, we, it's, it's a hard one. But we all know he's racist. We know he doesn't like cops. And we know he wants to have sex with cops. So, at least we know. At least we know. Something's proven. All right, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.